Dr. Holly Atkinson is the chief medical director of Healthy Nation, a producer of medical videos for the web. Dr. Atkinson, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. You know, a lot of us don't know when we have the regular flu. What should people be looking for? Would the symptoms be similar to what we normally yes, see in the wintertime? The symptoms of this flu seem to be similar to regular flu, and that is you can have fever, lethargy, you can cough, you can lose your appetite. Some people get really, you know, deep aches and pains. And some people can actually have GI symptoms, so they can have nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Every fall we do the story about getting the flu shot. We know that doesn't right. protect from all strains. Might, right. it, might it offer some protection to this particular strain? That's an excellent question. The CDC officials are working on that right now. We don't have the answer. What, what is the treatment for swine flu? Do the antivirals that we see with the traditional flu, are they effective? Another good question. We have four antiviral drugs, and the good news is it appears that two of the drugs are working with this flu. Now, usually the way you treat flu is you do supportive measures. So all of us have mostly had the flu at some time in our life. You know, you stay home, you drink plenty of fluids, you treat the symptoms. But for those people who are frail or they have chronic diseases and they're ill from something else, you really want to get more aggressive, and so you would consider using some antivirals. And swine flu does come from pigs, correct? Yes, and this particular virus is very interesting because it looks like it has genes from two different pig viruses, one from avian flu and one from human flu. And what happens is all these genes mix together and you get a new virus, and that's what we've and, got. And in this case, it can be passed from human to human. So what would be the, the preventative measures one could do if one's going to be out in public? Very important. I know this doesn't sound sexy, but one of the most important things you can do is wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. The way that flu travels between people is either through droplets in the air that we cough and sneeze, or if someone touches a surface or, for example, drinks out of a cup, cell phones you have to be careful of, passing them back and forth. Objects can get the flu virus on it. So if you touch an object that is contaminated and then touch your your nose and your eyes, that's how you infect so yourself. Just, just good hygiene in this case and, and, and being preventative. But, but we often think of flu as being a winter type thing. It's going to mm -hmm. be 80 here in New York City today. It's warm across that's, most of the country. You know, that's what's so unique about this, this virus. It's very late in the season for an outbreak like this. And here we are. It's supposed to be 88 degrees in, in New York uh, tomorrow. So it is very late in the season, which makes it a little novel. I have to ask this next question. I think I know the answer, but people hear swine flu. Is this anything you could get from eating pork no. products? And I'm glad you asked that question. It's very important. No, you don't get this from eating. As I said, you inhale this. It's a respiratory virus, so it has nothing to do with the food we eat. This is a hard question. Scale of 1 to 10 as a medical professional, how worried are you about this? We're concerned. We're very concerned. We haven't seen this virus before. We have to take it very seriously. I think one of the things I can say to people to ease their minds is that federal officials, state officials, local officials have been preparing for this kind of thing for years and years now. We've studied other pandemics, and there are a lot of plans in place that should this be a pandemic, if it would become a pandemic, there are a lot of things we can do in the community to stop the spread of the virus. And I asked you about, about uh, antivirals. Tamiflu has proven effective with this? Yes. All right. Dr. Holly Atkinson, thanks so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate your insight.